guess what? There is finally, finally, there is an Android app for Pico 8. I am beyond excited. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the Android app. We're gonna check it out on my phones. We're gonna check it out on an Android retro handheld. I'm gonna also show you a couple games at the end. So stick around, we're gonna have some fun. This made my day when I found out recently that there is a new Pico 8 Android app. Let's just call this the first Pico 8 Android app because the other one doesn't work. If you happen to find it, do not download that one. I think it's called Pico Pico or something like that. It doesn't work. Anyway, but if you have followed me for a little bit, you probably have heard me mention Pico 8 or gush about Pico 8 because that's what I do and I just love it so much. The cool thing about Pico 8 is it's a fantasy console. So it's not like your normal old school retro consoles that we're used to, Genesis or NES. There isn't an actual physical console. Once you pay the license, you have access to thousands and thousands of games. On top of that, you can be your own developer and you can create these awesome retro pixelated looking games. They look just like your 8-bit, your 16-bit games that we all grew up on, and they're so cool. Also, there's like a really awesome creativity behind it because just regular, random, awesome people are creating these games. So it's very indie. If you're into indie games and you love pixelated games, you really have to check out Pico 8. All you need is a license. It's a one-time purchase of $15. Literally, there's thousands of games. Sounds pretty cool, right? So, well, there's a even better way of just playing these on your retro handhelds because normally when I show you a uh, retro handheld and it's able to play Pico 8, it's running Linux. So it's not running Android because there's a weird, there is technically a way that you can get uh, Pico 8 running on an Android device. I haven't even done it just because it's a bizarre, backwards sort of way. And it was on my to-do list to actually check this out. But now we don't have to. There is a video that I will link below from my friend Aiden Walls that he goes through uh, this program called WinLater and to get Pico8 on there. Uh, WinLater is also cool because you can do all sorts of different things on it. So if you're a super nerd, definitely check that out and you can see what else WinLater does. But for the rest of us, one thing that I love to do is simplify things for you guys. Nothing is more simplistic than just installing an app from the Google Play Store. So anyway, I'm excited. I hope you're excited because we're going to check this out. Okay, so here is my phone, uh, my Android phone, and here is my Odin 2. Spoiler alert, you can see that I already have the app running, but I will show you a couple cool things with that. So this is how you want to search for it. You don't want to do a space. It's P8 go and just hit install. So once that installs, then you can just open it it's a very tiny app. So let's hit play. And here you see. So this is super cool. You can play it in vertical or you can play it in horizontal mode. Look, it's one of my favorite games, Marvel Merger. This is an awesome game. But up here, you can see that you can like it. You can add it to your collection so that you can always have access to it. So you don't have to search for it. But you do have a search button up right up here. You can even share it. You can send it to somebody and say, hey, check out this cool game. This is awesome. And then right down there, I believe that that takes you to, that just shows you a little bit more um, about the game. You can actually go to the actual site and it will give you some instructions if you're having some issues with anything with it. It just goes through what, what the developer has shown you. Down here, you can do a save, a load state, you can have pause, and you can have a virtual D-pad and an X and an O button. Pico 8 games don't use more than two buttons. So this is pretty cool. Now, if you want to do horizontal, you can see it in landscape mode and it looks awesome. So here, let's play a little bit of Marble mer Merger. This is a fun game. But if we didn't want to do this, if you want to just one hand it, you could probably, even if you have a smaller phone, you might be able to one hand it depending on what game you are playing. But again, isn't this the coolest thing in the world? I'm so happy with this. So down here also, you can hit this button and you can uh, explore. You can also do challenges, which 
I think each day it comes up with a different challenge. And right now it says your, your challenge is to beat Celeste, beat the level and you can do that. So we can just back out of that, hit the back button and then your games. Here's where you will have to sign in with your Google um, to actually access your games, but just throw your Google account in here. Now, cool thing is, I know I mentioned that there was a Pico 8 license, but this doesn't require the license. This is free. I would highly recommend just to support the Pico 8 community to purchase the license for $15. Um, through this, the link that I have in the description below because they're amazing. They really are. And then, so say you're done playing this game. You just swipe up. It's almost like social media where it's through TikTok or Google Shorts and you just swipe up. You just go, nope, I don't really want to play that. And so here we just swipe. This game wants me to start it. Just keep swiping up and there you go. Oh, Golf Sunday is a really good game. Now, occasionally you will get, I don't know if you saw that little boot, the bootloader logo. Occasionally I have come across that in playing and testing this app. Sometimes it will load like this specific game did and it just takes a, a couple seconds. Sometimes it doesn't load. And if it doesn't load, maybe the, the developer has uh, been working on the game and whatever. So just keep scrolling and hopefully they'll eventually do that. But so say, let's find, so you just want to sign into what I just did. You just want to sign into Google. Once you do that, then you can hit, you can play your games. You can play your, your saved games. I don't have any saved games specifically. Uh, if you wanted to access your games and you wanted to like anything, you wanted to use the collection, you do have to use your Google your Gmail account and then it displays it up here. So for the sake of this video, just so I don't blast my Gmail account out, out there, um, I'm not going to be signing in, but all you have to do is just sign in. If you click on your games, you just click on sign in, it'll access the Gmail account that's already on your device. And then bam, you can just have your saved states, your load states, and all you can have access to your collection of games. But there are some amazing games that are in here and then see it wants you to sign up so like i said for the sake of this video i'm not going to be doing that on my phone let's take a look at my odin 2. now one thing here we have celeste and i actually got really far in celeste so far um we'll say really far for me but one thing that you want to be mindful of is there's only two buttons in Pico 8 in that app. So you're gonna be using the X button and your Y button. So just these two up there and I died. But uh, if you hit the A and B button, like I just showed you, it's I don't know what it does, but it weirdly grays out and then it kind of comes back. You can see as you swipe away, just because on this specific um, device, I do have it signed in with my Google. So I think that it's saving the state right there because if I swipe away, it will go back and we can see where we are and I can just pick up from that specific game and keep playing. So that's pretty cool. What is amazing about this? You don't have to map the buttons. The buttons are already mapped. So depending on what retro handheld, what Android retro handheld you are using, it probably is going to be these two. Um, the X and the Y button, but just check it out. And like I said, if you do gray it out, just don't use those other two buttons. But And then you can see it works with the joystick, with the analog stick, and it works with the D-pad. So you have access to really everything that's on here. It would be like you're mapping your buttons. I just can't tell you how happy and excited I am about this because it just works. So, and it goes right into landscape mode and I'm just gonna keep dying. So this is probably not a good example because I was stuck at this level. Now, the tiny downside to using your retro handheld, your Android retro handheld, is that so far I haven't found a way, you can see what's missing over here. There isn't uh, the search, there isn't the like, there isn't really anything. So even taking off, um, I was trying to take off the auto rotate 
and see if I could just, you know, do this and put it into portrait mode and maybe fake out the app and it's not really working. So you'll probably have to find the games or just keep scrolling if you want to use your Android retro hand handheld. But again, this app is very, very new. I'm hoping that they come out with some newer updates for it. Maybe there's going to be a little bit more compatibility, hopefully, with Android handhelds because this is awesome to, to have. Now, one thing that you can definitely do is you can get a telescopic controller and you can put it around your phone and then you can play your Pico 8 games. Okay, so here you can see you have a telescopic controller. If you go back, you do have the option. Uh, the app understands that you want to go back into portrait mode and then you can go through and you can like, you can add the collections and share and do all of those things and you can access your games. But if you press the full screen button, it will go back into landscape mode. I mean, look at this, even though I'm being terrible at this because I'm looking at the camera, but I mean, this is no horizon chase by any means, but this is still really, really cool. It's kind of like Outrun. Maybe not with the cool music, but that's okay. I mean, somebody made this. This is, <laughs> it's just awesome. All right, here is one of my favorite games that I've come across lately. This is called the Carpathian and you guessed it. It is a Castlevania demake. We all know how I feel about Castlevania. Unfortunately, because of the copyright, uh, you don't get the Castlevania music, but hey, there is Simon Belmont. I'm assuming it's Simon Belmont, Belmont and not the other guy, John Richter. I think that's what that guy's name is or whatever. So this is a little weird on a touchscreen, I will admit. Um, for whatever reason, this game did not like my uh, telescopic controller. This is Mario with pipes. If you've heard of birds with guns, this is Mario with pipes. So um, this, it's a great game, as you'll see. Now, each character has their own special gun and... You can also pick up different guns, and it's just, it's really funny. The Birds with Guns is even better because <laughs> you can play like a flamingo or an ostrich, and they have guns, and it's just, it's just ridiculous. All right. And this one's pretty cool because this is like Star Fox. So there are tons of demakes out there. Chances are if you like a, if you're looking for a pretty popular game, you know, like Super Mario Brothers or like I just showed you, uh, Castlevania, um, this one's Star Fox. I mean, there there's quite a few demakes or remakes out there and they're not half bad, honestly. I kind of like to think of them as, you know, maybe those games on uh, maybe Atari. <laughs> I am just going to continue with this actually on the phone. So here's a couple games that I actually found. This is Pack Pock. And the mechanics of this one is very interesting and very deliberate. So that's one of those that you have to kind of figure out how does this work? It's not your normal uh, platformer kind of a thing. This one is called Amadar. This is like Donkey Kong and Burger Time and Pac-Man all rolled into one. At least it feels like it for, for me. Okay. Here is, you can see that is the whole point of the game that you want to get all your boxes Next one to show you is Jet Pig. I don't know. I liked it. It's kind of a weird game. You grab your fuel and you fly to your rocket. And then it seems like every level gets just a little bit harder. I like to think of it as pigs in space. Maybe. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. And you die. And the game is not very forgiving. The balls are lava. This one is a very uh, straightforward game. You don't want to touch the lava balls. Also, if anybody can hear. <laughs> I want somebody out there to know if this sounds like a, a song out there. I know what it is. I want to know if you know what it is. All you 90s kids out there. Think uh, early, late 90s electronica. It's Prodigy. All right, next up is Night Ride. And this is very much like uh, there was an, an arcade game. I can't think of it right now. Comment below if you can think of it. Um, I can see it. I know I've played it a million times. It's not Enduro Racer. Spy Hunter? I can't remember if it was Spy Hunter. I feel like Spy Hunter was just a little bit dinner different. Maybe it was Spy Hunter. And here's the last one that I'll show you. This is called Monkey Bonanza. This was a cute little uh, platformer that I found. It's kind of like a puzzle platformer, if you would. And it gets harder and harder. So you have to move the box, to jump on the box, move the box, and then do that. If you want to reset the, um, you want to reset the level, you just make the monkey die and it will reset the level. You can do that over and over. So there we have the P8 Go app. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking and if you're excited to use it. I know I am. I've actually installed it on quite a few of my devices, my phones, and it's just nice to have because when you're just out and about and maybe you didn't happen to grab a retro handheld and have it with you in your pocket, you can still have uh, a retro handheld. So it's not ideal to play on the phone uh, as far as touchscreen, but hopefully uh, if you have a telescopic, con telescopic controller or if you have an Android retro handheld, you can definitely utilize that. Hopefully they do some updates and there's a little bit more compatibility with uh, more of the retro handhelds out there and the telescopic controllers. There aren't that many as far as Android retro handhelds go. So maybe they can try to do some, do some work and get those going. Let me know also because I only have access to the G8 Galileo at this moment in time making this video. Uh, if you happen to use it, a different telescopic controller let me know if it's working or not in the comments below that would be nice to know just to throw it out there for everybody else that sees this video so, also definitely check out wherever the video is located on this screen as i look like i'm landing a plane but that is my 50 uh pico 8 games that you need to play so if you want to go down an awesome pico 8 rabbit hole definitely check that out i showcase some awesome games that they're just they're so much fun have fun with that uh let me know in the comments below if you do have any other uh, pico 8 gems that you play religiously you love them they're just fantastic i always love finding new pico 8 games they're just there's so many of them and they're so awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome, everyone, and go play some games, some Pico 8 games.